The Arab communities of the Triangle uh, in Israel uh, face both opportunities and challenges. Uh, opportunities to uh, further integrate into Israeli society, to advance economically, uh, to raise up their populations, uh, and of course the challenges of communities that struggle uh, as each and every day. In Al Qasimi College for Engineering and Sciences in uh, Bakr al Qarbiya, uh, Dr. Dalia Fadila and her uh, terrific staff are educating the next generation of Arab youth uh, in this part of the country. I tour the laboratories where students are studying uh, the technical skills they need to advance in civil engineering, in electronics, in dentistry, and other medical fields. Uh, and these are all new programs uh, that the Al Qasimi uh, College leadership has put in place only in recent years. I also met students who have participated in scholarship programs sponsored by the United States uh, Embassy, uh, the MEPI program and the YES scholarship program that's enabled them to study English and then to study in the United States, uh, building connections between uh, Israel and Americans uh, that will last a lifetime. In Kalansua, children with special needs and disabilities uh, are being served and having their rights protected at the Sindian Center. This is a project done in cooperation with Beit Yisri Shapiro, a, another facility to deal, help people with disabilities uh, in Ranana, uh, and it's an example of Jewish Arab cooperation in Israel, backed by the United States government, to build ties between communities and parents who otherwise uh, would not get to know each other. In Taiba, a very energetic mayor uh, and his municipality staff uh, are working to create uh, opportunities uh, for the development of a major tourist center. Uh, I had a chance to tour uh, the old city of Taiba uh, and many of the sites that uh, he has already uh, turned into uh, popular attractions uh, during Ramadan and at other festive times of the year uh, and for which he has many great plans ahead. Bassam Jaber, the CEO and founder of the largest Arabic news outlet in Israel, Panet, uh, interviewed me and gave me a tour uh, of his facilities. He gave me a tour of the facilities that have enabled Panet to become the largest provider of news to Arabic-speaking audiences throughout Israel and to many Arabic-speaking audiences beyond Israel, in America, in Europe, and elsewhere in the Middle East. The United States government sees itself as a partner to the Arab communities of the Triangle. Uh, it's in our interest uh, that those communities and those minorities uh, become uh, more successful, stronger, more economically prosperous, uh, and more integrated into Israeli society. Uh, and so uh, we've looked for ways in scholarships in the colleges, in partnering uh, with economic development programs, uh, in partnering with social projects uh, to help uh, create those linkages uh, between uh, Arab and Jewish communities in this part of the country.